All right, so let's work with elevator up for a minute. So let's create a new script. We're gonna separate elevator up and elevator down. The reason for this is just for uh, educational use. Usually you would probably make this one script, but um, for my case right now, it allows me to easily show you how this works. Okay, elevator up. Okay, so first off, let's start out with a few variables. Variable player. Transform. So there's the elevator in the player. Reason we have to do that is because they need to be parented together. You would think that just hopping in an elevator, the physics would make you so you don't clip through the elevator, but there is some kind of issue with the character controller that does not allow that. So we have to parent them together as they go up. Okay, so a few things. I have to state, where does the elevator start and stop? Okay, and just so I don't have to keep typing, there's my to and from. Okay, the next one, totally different, so I can't cheat. This is the speed at which the elevator travels. And for right now, it's going to be defaulted as 5. And this last one, bool switch. And I can't describe right now why I'm writing up down here, but I will get into that as soon as we develop the up down script. This is a way of calling a variable from another script, in this case up down. Okay, so there we go. I'm just gonna save this. Now I don't need a function update, I need a function on trigger stay. So that means I had to pass a variable or uh, yeah, other collider, just like that. Okay, now this is the hard part for me to explain. So I'm going to write two scripts at the same time. Reason being, I'm pulling stuff from up down. Well, what happens is, the player goes and triggers this mechanism right here, gets on the elevator, triggers another mechanism that makes it go up, gets off the elevator and triggers another thing. When the player hits this first block, what it's going to do is start to parent or throw the code to parent these two together um, when I touch this one. So it's a series of stuff that happens, a lot of if statements. If the player touches this, gets on the elevator, and then touches this, parent. If the player gets uh, moving and touches this, unparent, and etc. and so forth. It has to parent and unparent, back and forth, toggling up and down. So that's what I'm saying. We need another script in here, another JavaScript, and this one's going to be called up-down. There we go. Now meet me in the next video where I start writing up down also.